Today, we'll be breaking down the competitors for the number one seed in the AFC. In the meantime, the Jets will still be looking for win number one. Nation. Welcome to another episode of Packcast, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom. No nickname this week because it's Friday and I'm too tired. Grassy. And yes, it's time to break down just like we did in the beginning of the week with the NFC. We're going to do it now with the AFC. And unlike the NFC, there's only really four contenders here for the number one spot. Realistically, it might only just be two, a race between the Steelers and the Chiefs, but I decided to extend the invitation to the Bills and the Browns. And again, the fact that I'm even seeing the Browns anywhere near this list and having a winning record is proof that 2020 is a living nightmare. Before we get to that, I want to do a big shout and thank you to some brand new YouTube members. First, we got Daniel Prisbel. We have Hunter Wampler. We have Craig Riley, and we have Shy Guy and Penguin Productions. A big shout out and thank you to you all. So similar to how we did this for the NFC, we're going to go through each one of these team schedules, see if it's most likely they're going to get a win or a loss, and then predict who's going to be the number one seed. Now, I will say, what makes this a little bit more interesting is there's some, uh, there's some mingling going on here. The Browns and the Bills both play the Steelers, and so that makes for some interesting potential tiebreakers. Starting off with the current number four seed, you got the nine and three Cleveland Browns. And listen, as you know from predictions, I'm still not the biggest believer in the Browns. I think a lot of their wins that they've had haven't looked really impressive. However, that was before last week, because last week they slapped the ever-living crap out of the Tennessee Titans, and usually it's been off of the shoulders and back and legs of Nick Chubb, who has been dominating defenses. However, last week was all about the Baker Mayfield throwing four touchdowns and looking absolutely incredible against the Tennessee Titans. Now, the Browns have four games left against the Ravens, the Giants, the Jets, and the Steelers. Two of those games are very winnable, meaning the Giants and the Jets. However, both of those games are bookended by two tough divisional opponents. Starting with the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens, they've not been consistent this year and haven't looked good for a bunch of games. However, they looked really strong against the Dallas Cowboys last week, but then again, that doesn't seem too difficult to do nowadays. But they really got an awesome ground game going against the Cowboys, and they're going to need to bring that and a whole lot more against the Cleveland Browns. However, to win the number one seed, they're going to need these teams in front of them to drop a couple of games, so I think that that's where they're going to potentially run into some hiccups. But the Browns still have a shot at winning their division because the Steelers' remaining schedule is no cakewalk. Realistically, I think the Ravens might be able to beat them on this one and they will lose to the Steelers. So I think they'll finish around 11-5. and five. But I wouldn't be surprised if they actually wind up going 12-4. and four. And who knows? They might be able to sweep. And in that case, they have potential for winning the number one spot if the Chiefs do falter. Number three, you got the 9-3 and three Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen. MVP-like form going up against the Steelers, the Broncos, the Patriots, and the Dolphins. Now, Sunday Night Football is going to be an amazing game, one that I will definitely be streaming. The Steelers is going to probably be an amazing litmus test to see how good the Buffalo Bills actually are. Josh Allen was able to go to work against that San Francisco 49ers defense. They're going to be playing a much tougher defense in the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, the Steelers, perfection no more as they lost to the Washington football team last week. Looked pretty terrible on offense. Now, James Conner supposedly might be back, and that will definitely help with their non-existent run game. But realistically, the Steelers, I think, are a good football team. They just went up against a very, very good defense in Washington. The Bills have a good defense, but they don't have a Washington-caliber defense. So realistically, I don't think the Bills are going to beat the Steelers, but I think they'll be able to win out the rest of their games against the Broncos, the Patriots, and the Dolphins. Maybe they drop one to either the Patriots and Dolphins because it's a divisional game, but realistically, I see the Bills finishing 12-4, and which is not going to be enough for that number one seed, but more than enough to win that division. Number two, you got the Kansas City Chiefs sitting at 11 and 1. The Chiefs, I like them to win the AFC because I think that they have the easiest schedule in front of them. The only difficult game they really have is against the Saints. Their next four games are the Dolphins, Saints, Falcons, and Chargers. Three of those are very, 
very winnable games. And two of them have very, very poor defenses. The Saints a game I think they'll be able to win is Drew Brees going to be back potentially, which could potentially tilt the favor over to the Saints because they've been playing pretty good defense. But the worst I see the Chiefs doing is probably around 14 and two with that loss against the Saints. But I think they have a really, really good shot of running the table, if you will. Patrick Mahomes has been an MVP-like form, and I think that they're going to continue to dominate all the way into the playoffs. So if the Chiefs win out, they just need the Steelers to drop one game, which I think is very possible. And if the Chiefs actually do wind up losing against the Saints, then I think the Steelers would wind up taking it. Number one, you got the no longer perfect 11-1 Pittsburgh Steelers. They don't got the easiest road ahead of them. They got the Bills, the Bengals, the Colts, and the Browns. Now, the Bengals, we'll throw them out the window. There's no Joe Burrow there. They should be able to beat the Bengals, solidifying that they're at least going to finish 12 and 4. The Bills could go either way. It depends on if their defense really performs well against Josh Allen, but I think they should be able to beat the Bills. The Colts have a little bit of a tricky defense. They've been shutting out teams in the second half, so they might have some problems with them. And then they finish off with the Browns, which I think could go either way. So the Steelers right now have the most to lose, and I think they are the most vulnerable vulnerable out of all of these teams, considering their remaining strength of schedule is pretty tough. So realistically, I see them dropping at least a game here. It's either going to be to the Bills or potentially the Browns, but they also could drop two, which would bring them to a 13 and three record. The Chiefs are literally right behind them. So if the Steelers do wind up dropping a single game, the Chiefs are going to be able to just run with that. On the other hand, the Steelers do have one of the best defenses in the league. While their offense has sputtered at times, they also can be super duper explosive, which which makes them so good and a balanced football team. So honestly, they could win out all of their games because I think that they can definitely beat the Bengals, the Colts, and the Browns. If they're able to get past the Bills, I like their chances of being the number one seed. But if they do anything else but win out, yeah, I think the Chiefs are going to get number one. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to be snagging that coveted number one seed and getting that by? Also, which team needs it the most? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. You can always find me at TomGrassyComedy.com or at TomGrassyComedy. All social media you see down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, and of course YouTube. And a big shout and thank you to all the patrons over at Patreon.com slash TomGrassyComedy and the YouTube members. We will be streaming a live Q&A tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you there. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassy. And as always, go Pack Go!